Good evening and welcome to Southern Hills this evening. We do want to extend a special welcome to all of our guests and visitors tonight. Tonight is singing night as being the first Sunday of the month, so I appreciate Caleb Chitwood uh, getting all of our song leaders together. I hope at some point you've had a chance to look at one of our bulletins, either here or online. Uh, a lot of information in there, but a couple of announcements we'd like to make before we begin. We do want to remember Sharon Welburn and Barbara Jones, who are both going through chemo treatments right now. Also, we want to remember Bobby Wilhoyt. Uh, she is in St. Thomas Hospital due to some blood pressure issues and heart rate issues. Um, also, Gary Briegel. This is Winnie Briegel's son. will be having open heart surgery on May the 5th. Um, then just a reminder, as we announced this morning, there is a baby shower plan for Amy Richardson on May the 15th. There will be more information in the bulletin next week about that. Then tonight, we will be having our last of leaders appreciation dinner or appreciation night tonight in the fellowship hall after our services. Um, immediately following, if you would, as we, uh, as we finish up, if we'll let our, our young participants go first in the line to eat so they can uh, be prepared for their uh, puppet skits and things. Things. Um, also coming up on May the 22nd is our graduate reception. Our graduates, uh, both high school and college, are listed in the bulletin. If you do have a graduate that is not listed in the bulletin, if you would let us know so we can make sure everyone is recognized on May the 22nd. Uh, but those are the announcements that I have for tonight. If you would bow with me in prayer as we begin. Father in heaven, we are thankful for your word. We are thankful for this time as we gather around your throne. We're thankful for the songs that we sing. We pray that as we sing them, we listen to the messages that they are bringing. In Jesus' name, amen. Good evening. First song of the night will be number 205, Hand in Hand with Jesus, number 205.
scripture reading, we'll see number 26, an empty mansion. Number 26. <clears throat> Our first scripture this afternoon is from Daniel chapter 6, verses 6 through 10. So these governors and satraps thronged before the king and said thus to him, King Darius, live forever. All the governors of the kingdom, the administrators and satraps, the counselors and advisors, have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whoever petitions any god or man for 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing so that it cannot be changed according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which does not alter. Therefore, King Darius signed the, the written decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home. And in his upper room, with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as was his custom since early days. Let's pray together. Holy Father, great and awesome is your name. Lord, we are thankful, just as we've read from your word about Daniel and how that he prayed to you, Father, how that he prayed to you consistently, lovingly, and how we know that you answer. Father, we thank you for this time and this opportunity that we can come to you in prayer. And we know that you listen. We know that you hear, and we know that you have all power. Thank you, God, for loving us. Thank you for the ultimate sacrifice that led to the removal of our sins so that we could appear before you. 
even this very moment. Gracious God, we are just so grateful that we can be together, so thankful for the freedoms we enjoy and those who fought so hard for it here in this country. Father, we pray right now, mindful of those that are not here with us at the moment due to various illnesses. And because we know you hear and we love them so dearly, we pray for them, Father. We pray for those that are dealing with various illnesses and struggling with various things, and we just pray healing. We pray your hand over them, O oh God. We pray especially right now, oh Father, for Shara Wellborn and Barbara Jones, and the treatments that they're receiving, and we know that it, they'd love to be here. We know that it's difficult, and we thank you, God, for your watch care over them. So we love them so much. Father, we have a pray for Bobby right now, Will Hoyt, who's in the hospital and dealing with some various issues, and we just pray for those that are administering to her. And Father, we pray a special prayer for Gary Briegel. We pray that you would be with him, um, pray that you would provide the necessary things for his needs and that you would heal him. Father, we love you so much. So we've been singing tonight as we just continue to lift our voices in song before you. We pray it will be to your glory. We're thankful that we can speak these words about heaven that we've sung so far and, and how we long for that place, that we long for the dwelling with you forever. We know and have great hope because of how you created this world and it was good, it was perfect in every way and we know that God, you have a perfect and good place prepared for us. Be with us, guide us, restore us. It's in Jesus' name we pray and amen. Our next song will be number 226, 226, How Great Thou Art. If you would, please stand.
please be seated. Our next song is As the Deer. song before our next scripture will be number 665.
Next scripture reading will come from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 12 through 17. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. And it happened as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli watched her mouth. Now Hannah spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you be drunk? Put your wine away from you. But Hannah answered and said, no, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor intoxicating drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Do not consider your maidservant a wicked woman, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief I have spoken until now. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition which you have asked of him. Good evening. First song I'll be leading will be number 627. Number 627, seeing the first and last verse of this song. Next song will be number 315, All Living Glory, number 315, in the first and last verse. For our next scripture reading, we'll sing number 672. There's a holy and beautiful city. If you will, please stand as we sing this song.
Be seated. Our next scripture reading will be coming from Matthew 17, verse 20 and 21. Again, that's Matthew 17, 20 and 21. He said to them, because of your little faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. But this kind never comes out except by prayer and fasting. Our next song tonight will be number 839. Our next song is not in the book, it's called In Need.
Before our devotional tonight, let's stand and sing number 213. Please be seated. Tonight, as we honor those who, or we recognize those who are part of the Lazo Leaders program, I wanted to talk a little bit about the theme of Lazo Leaders um, this year. The theme was strong and courageous. And the thing about Lazo Leaders, when you go, you get to hear a lot of good lessons. You get to hear a lot of good lessons presented, hear a lot of good song leaders on the specific topic. And as they were talking about being strong and courageous, they talked a lot about the uh, occupations and professionals that, that we know that are strong and courageous. But as each one of them talked and spoke on their specific uh, topics that they chose, my mind kept going to Daniel and Hannah. And, and how their prayer life was very strong and courageous. Specifically in Daniel chapter 6, as it was read to us, we read about a decree that King Darius had made that no man could, could, petition, could petition any other god or any other man in a 30-day time period. We read about that in verse number 7. But as we continue to read down in Daniel chapter 6... Daniel didn't pay any attention to this decree. He was courageous in his prayer life, so he went up there. As we read, he was accustomed to doing, praying three times a day in the upper room, and he went up there and he prayed like he typically did. And as we continue to read that, we read, we read that he was uh, told, to, told by the governors and the satraps that he was doing that, and it was against the decree that was made. So Daniel's courage and his prayer wound, up, wound him up in the lion's den. And we all know the story about the lion's den, and Daniel spent, that, spent there all night. The Lord shut the mouths of the lions, and he was found okay the next day. But as Daniel was praying, he went into the upper room to pray. He knew the consequences of him praying like that. He knew that he was not supposed to be praying to God. He could only address King Darius, but he prayed anyway. He was courageous in his prayer life anyway. And as Daniel went to the lion's den, he had faith that the Lord would protect him. And because of Daniel's courage and because he was able to get, look past his fear, King Darius realized after the, the, lion, the Lord had shut the lion's mouth and he was okay, that in verse 26 and 27, King Darius makes another decree 
that every man in all the dominions in his kingdom were to fear the Lord. So because of Daniel's courage, a decree was made that the Lord would be feared within King Darius' dominion. So as, as we continued on and, and as I thought about uh, being, being a, having a strong prayer life, I, my mind went to Hannah. And Hannah, in, in the story in 1 Samuel chapter 1, she wanted a son so bad that she went to the, to the tabernacle and she prayed on the steps for a son. But as we read that she, no words were coming out of her mouth, but her lips were moving, the, the, uh, the high priest thought that she was drunk, drunk with wine. But she was very sorrowful. She was so sorrowful that she couldn't speak. And so as, as I thought about her and her strength to go in a public place, and to pray like that for something that she wanted so badly, her boldness in her prayer life came to mind. Strength and boldness in our prayer life, boldness in our prayer life, we need to have as well. We need to be willing to approach the Lord with any concern and any uh, care that we have. So as I thought about those two people and I thought about what they accomplished with their prayer life, I thought prayer is very powerful. So many times we approach prayer, prayer as a second option. We, take, we do everything within our power to accomplish any problem that we have, to take care of any situation, when in all reality, prayer should be the first thing that we go to. As we read, as we read in Matthew chapter 17, with, with the courage like Daniel had, with the strength like Hannah had, as Jesus was telling his apostles in Matthew 17, if they had faith, just as small as a mustard seed, that they would be able to move mountains with their prayer life. So prayer does not need to be the last resort. It needs to be our first resort. And prayer is not only for the hard times. Prayer is for all the time, as we see with Daniel, that he was accustomed to going in the upper room and praying three times a day. So tonight, as, as we're singing and tonight as we're thinking about prayer, I encourage us all to have a more active prayer life. Have a, have a prayer life that we're bold, have a prayer life that is strong, and have a prayer life that is courageous. So tonight, if you have any need, if you need the prayers of the church, I encourage you to, to come forward as we sing this next song, or if you would like to put Christ on in baptism, whatever your need may be, if you would come forward as we stand and sing. Please be seated. <coughs> Is there anybody in here that needs to partake of the Lord's Supper this evening? We have a few hands. After each prayer, just keep your hand up and we'll have somebody from the back serve you. Let's bow together. Great God and Father in heaven, we are grateful for you. We are grateful for your word. And we're grateful for the fellowship that we've had today. We're also grateful for this memorial that reminds us of the sacrifice that 
your son made on the cross for our sins. We're grateful for this bread that represents that broken body that without which we don't have a chance at eternal life. We ask, Father, that this would be taken in a manner pleasing to you, and it's through Jesus we pray. Amen. bow together. God and Father, as we continue this memorial, we're mindful of the blood that was shed that cleanses our sins. We're thankful for the sacrifice that was made and we're thankful for this memorial that, of this cup that represents your blood. And we ask, Father, that it would also be pleasing to you as we partake. It's through Jesus we pray. Amen. At this time, we'd also have an opportunity to give if you have not had a chance to. Just after this prayer, raise your hand and we'll have somebody serve you from the back. There's also opportunities, should be up on the screen here in a moment, uh, to give online. You have that opportunity as well. Let's, let's bow together. Great God and Father, we are called to be a giving people and we're thankful for the blessings that we have uh, on this earth. We ask, Father, that we would give with cheerful hearts, and we pray, Father, that the monetary funds that we do give would be used in order to glorify you and spread your kingdom. It's through Jesus we pray. Amen. Been good to see you all tonight and to sing with you. We hope that everyone can come back Wednesday night for our midweek Bible study at 7 p.m. and of course next Sunday for our morning worship service at 9 a.m. We'll close tonight by singing one verse at number 111 and then we'll be dismissed in prayer. Let's stand while we sing. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you blessed us with. We thank you for letting us come here and worship you. And we pray for all those who are sick and the people who lost loved ones, and please be with them and comfort them. And please be with the people who are fighting for our countries, and please be with those who are in Ukraine right now, and be with them. We want to thank you for our elders and deacons at our church and all the decisions they make. 
and please be at the food we're about to eat, and please bless it. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.